All right, all right, all right. It is, uh, it's time to have some fun here. Time to have some fun. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm DJ LaFave. Got to go the one year right there. Uh, here we go. Uh, today is a live stream dual purpose. We're going to teach you all about virtual DJ. Uh, and I'm really focusing on the free version, the free version. That's right. I want everybody out there to be able to, to know what virtual DJ is and then to be able to use virtual DJ. Um, whether you're a DJ or you just have a music and video library or you want these cool uh, visual effects, all can be integrated with OBS uh, or, or Streamlabs. Um, just, just comes in with a Windows source and an audio source. But other than that, we're going to dive into how to download it, how to install it, how to add some music to it. We'll talk about what virtual folders are, how awesome they can be. Um, you can even take in crates from Serato if you're if you're using Serato DJ, but this isn't necessarily focused for DJs. This tutorial right now is going to show you how to use virtual DJ um, just in general. Make it your new music library, all right? So we're gonna dive into it, all right? Here we go. We gotta do, we gotta do a warp. There we go. We're warped down. We're going right here, and now we're going into the display capture. Here we go. So what you're looking at right now, I just did a. Um, I just did a tutorial on how to capture a remote computer. So this this computer that you're looking at, this screen, this 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 mouse right here, this is actually a a second computer, right? This is a um, I'm using my laptop right now. So I wanted to show you completely from scratch, 100%. Just uh, just this is how you download it. This is how you install it. So you're gonna see everything happening right here in real time. In real time. Uh, let me just check one thing here real quick. We've got the updates, updates, and the, there we go. There we go. We are we are all set, all set to go. We got the chat rolling in. We got everything good. So yeah, if you're watching in the chat and you want to drop a line, uh, just let me know. You know where you're from, where you're calling it, where, where, where you're chatting in from, and uh, just always we make this the club. This is this is the club. You see the booth, um, DJ, and we're also a nice crew. Really tight knit group that we got going on here, and I'm super thankful for everybody who subscribed, follows, comes to the live streams. It's so much fun. All right, so let's dive into it. So here you go. You go to virtualdj.com, and then you just click on download. And I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. Um, if you do it on Mac, I'm sure the steps are very similar. The software probably reacts very, very much the same. So here we go. We're going to click on Windows right there. And it's going to say, do you want to download the package? We'll say, yeah, save save that sucker. Already exists, of course, because you have to try this stuff out before you, you go real time with it. So for Windows, it's going to save it as a MSI, a .MSI file, which is a Microsoft installer package. So we're going to say, open that sucker. And we'll accept the terms in the license agreement because it was written by people way, way smarter than me, right? And we always just say yes. So right now it's just installing Virtual DJ 2021, a whole bunch of great features packed into this thing. It's really, really awesome. You just say, okay, if anything comes up right now, and here we go, we're going to launch Virtual DJ. So bliggity splat, this is it. You are now, um, right now, this is the, when it open it up, first thing you see is this screen. This is called the starter screen, the starter screen. So let me move this down just a little bit so you can see all of the items right here. I'm gonna, you can resize it too, as you can see, you can resize it to however size that you want it just by dragging in this bottom right-hand corner over here. So I'm just dragging it down so you guys can see most of the items right here that's going on, all right? Here we go. So you get here, this thing is still analyzing my hardware, downloading optimized components. So we'll let that run for one more second and it is done, cool. All right, so the first thing you get, this is the starter, the starter scene. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip. You're gonna be above starter, you're gonna be pro uh, during and after this tutorial. So after this tutorial, we're gonna make sure that you guys are, are squared away and you'll be operating in the pro setting, the pro setting, which is really the, the one that you wanna use. Now, when I started DJing, I started off with Serato because the internet said Serato is the best thing uh, next to sliced bread. And, you know, I'm glad I did. It, it, it taught me some things that, you know, I, I didn't know before and now I know them. So hooray for that. Um, and uh, so now, but now we're gonna go into this and we are going to show what I know and why I think Virtual DJ is, is the premier uh, software application that you should be using. All right. So uh, in the top left-hand corner here, it is the layout. And um, so why am I signed in? We want to log out. I'm, I'm showing you completely, completely free version here. There's no licenses tied to this. 
everything you see here you guys can do without a license okay so we're going to go up here to this top left and we're going to select pro the pro setting and now it kind of looks like this so there's a lot going on right a whole lot going on and we're going to get into some of the things that are going on and and kind of uh progress from there all right, the first thing that you want to know is these tabs right here. This is very important. This is kind of your control center, okay? So we'll start with the master tab. On the master tab, you've got your master volume, which with a mouse, you can just click it up and down. This controls the complete output volume of everything that you're playing in Virtual DJ, all right? So there, there is your master volume right there. And then there is a mic volume. So if you have a mic, once you have a mic connected into here, Virtual DJ can then project it out. You can turn it on right here, and then you have the mic volume knob and whatnot scratch you guys aren't gonna have to concern about scratch um that's gonna be an advanced level tutorial um so advanced that i am not there to be able to teach you okay now video video is super fun if you didn't know this virtual dj can play <laughs> almost any video file and it plays it uh if you play your video in virtual dj and then say you want to bring it into obs i have seen it actually use less cpus than using the vlc plugin or just adding a media source in general so um there you go hey steph what's up i appreciate you coming out to the uh to the to the stream today thank you very much very very much for coming on over if you guys notice uh videofusion.ca has that wonderful uh dj lefave icon right next to it that's because he has decided to join the crew 2.99 a month gets you uh some cool badges um in the chat uh supports me and all the content that i create and it also gets you a minimum, a minimum of one Zoom meetup every month where we're all going to get together, share our ideas, and just, just have a kick-ass time. Okay, so here we go. How's the music? Music good in the background? <laughs> all right, so this is where you'll, you'll be controlling your video. So if you were to load a video up over here, um, then this is where you would see the video. The videos would play in this, this, uh, this center area right here. Um, it has a wonderful feature called Shader. Shader. What up, DJ Mock? Is it Mock or Mocky? You got to let me know. Is it like uh, like Mickey, Mickey Mouse, or just Mock? Um, I, I know you've got that, uh, that, that little accent de goo up on over there with London, baby. All right, so there is this shader option, and shaders are pretty cool. So if I click on this master video tab and pop it out, um, it's going to tell you when you first open this up and use this for the first time, it is going to kind of walk you through a lot of things. When you put your mouse into certain areas, it's going to give you little note, little notes, little updates, little, little tidbits that can help you out. So definitely recommend you float around and look. All right. So right here, this is a shader, this shader right here, this moves to the beat of the music. And if you resize it, it will fit the window right there. Maki. All right, I got it. DJ Maki. If you guys don't know, go check him out on uh, on the Mixcloud. Feel free to drop your link in the uh, in the chat there, DJ Maki, and uh, make sure we get some more more of our people over there. He does some amazing fun mixes out over there on Mixcloud. Definitely go check him out. All right, so that is um that's that's what a shader looks like. Now you notice there's this logo in the top uh, top top right right there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into it and see if we can get rid of the logo in the free version. You may not be able to. You may need the paid version to get rid of that, but shouldn't shouldn't mess you up too much. So right now we're just going to close this, and now we're going to float around. If you guys have any questions or things that you'd like to specifically see, like can this do this, um, please feel free to throw that into the chat. And any questions that you have within Virtual DJ, I'm going to try to go over them, as well as teaching that, that high level, that high level of um, kind of... This is the beginner tool here, right here, all right? So there are several different features over here. This on the left is kind of where you start with your music library. Um, th this is definitely where you're gonna start with your music library. It's always gonna start on the left and then it's gonna move over to, to subfolders and then sub sub areas and then you could put it all into this area, which we're gonna get to. This, uh, this area right here has a bunch of different cool options to do uh, playlists, to do uh, side lists, to do, um, you got a, a music sampler coming in there. Really, really awesome stuff right there. All right, so the first thing is going to be local music. I don't touch this. This this technically can read from your hard drives, from your desktop. You see I have crates down there. If you have Serato, uh, if you're using Serato, it'll take your crates from Serato over into Virtual DJ. So all that hard work you did at one point organizing your stuff, it still comes on over into here. So th that, that's helpful. But again, I don't touch any of that, right? The next section, again, I've messed around with it a little bit, but... 
uh, not too, too much. It offers some online music options. So within Virtual DJ itself, you can subscribe. I believe it's like $10 a month to get iDJ Pool. And iDJ Pool is a collection of thousands and thousands of, of songs that you can do a download and you can, you can also stream them directly from here. So that's a pretty cool option right there. Rotation Radio, what's up? What's up? Yeah, we're just going over this and any other questions you guys might have. So uh, appreciate you dropping in, okay? All right, and then the next item you have here is lists and advice. So the advice is pretty cool. If you are at a party and you're playing a song and you click on um, Genius DJ, it's going to go through its records of all the other... DJs who have fed their music to the cloud of what they would play next, like what song goes with this song or what song um, have a lot of people played with this song. So very, very intuitive, very awesome if you have that internet connection. And we're going to get to the filters in a second, but the filters is really cool. It automatically reads all of the metadata tied to your songs, all of the tags, songs, and videos. And it breaks it down right here into uh, decades, duplicates, genres, last played, and, and that's a pretty cool feature. There's another awesomer one that we're gonna get to, uh, get to in a moment. I'm just so excited. I, I really, really do love this program. It has offered so many, so many cool tricks and, and just twists that you can do, especially now that we've gone very virtual um, in, in the world that we live in. I was starting to use this this program two months before the pandemic hit. I said, I'm making the switch to virtual DJ. I just want to learn it. I want to do it. And then two months later, well, it was a good decision because look where we're at now. Everything we're doing is virtual. All right. So we've got to get some music up in here, right? We've got to add some music. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a virtual folder. And virtual folders is this section right here. Sorry, I can't zoom in on this one because we can bring it over to, to my main screen later. But I wanted to show you on the free version because, again, I want you to see everything that you may be getting from the free version. So what I'm going to bring in here is I'm going to bring in Stream Beats, which is good for YouTube. It's what's playing in the background right now. Uh, you're not going to hear it over here because I'm not feeding my audio in as I should. But here you go. Stream Beats is going to be the top folder. Now... The folder that I'm bringing in is going to be a subgenre of, of stream beats. So imagine stream beats being just a, a genre, party hits, and then you could start doing by artist or however you want to organize it. Simply click on stream beats, and I'm going to click on the folder again. And this one I'm going to do is it's the EDM. So I'm going to do an EDM. And you see how it kind of nestles that right there? You've got a, uh, a step right there. Okay. So now that we have the virtual folder created and selected, I'm going to now open up uh, my Windows Explorer. And I'm just going to go to music and then in my music. Oh, that's OneDrive. We don't like OneDrive. Microsoft just puts that there. Okay. So now we're going to go to stream beats and this is my EDM folder and this is my lights album. So all I got to do now is just take this. I'm just selecting them all and I'm bringing them in there. Right when I bring it in here, you're going to see a bunch of zipping and zooming, right? Zipping and zooming. What that just did was, and this is, this is really, really amazing. This just read the BPM of every song and the key of every song. So I don't know if you guys have ever mixed in key before or tried to mix in key. There is this whole mixing wheel that tells you to go from step to this to that. And it's supposed to be very harmonic to the ears. It's supposed to be very, very nice. Well, Virtual DJ just did that complete analysis for us and, and was able to uh, pull all that information out. So now you have all of your songs. You can make them beat by, by BPM, which is beats per minute. And... All of the metadata that you have to select from, if I just go up here by remix on the bar, this is all of the items that you can select to um, add to be seen right here. Uh, you see this will play at and singer. This thing also does karaoke. So if you have karaoke tracks, you can bring them into here and play them as well. It could be your new default karaoke player. All right. So these are all of the different items that you can bring in here. Album is another one that that's very important. You notice there's nothing listed in here. Well, that's because there is... Um, there, there is no album time when, when stream beats puts out their music, they don't put it out with enough metadata for it to populate in here. Quick fix. I'm going to show you how to do a new folder with some real music. So if I go back to my music folder that I just had right here, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've already done, right? Whole bunch of stuff I've already done. Here is my sweet 16 backup. So I had a sweet 16 playlist. I uh, thought I had it. No, that, that's a bad one. <laughs> That's what you do. All right, top songs, top requested songs. Surely there's something in there. I just cleaned this whole hard drive out. All right, we won't get that example. I'll go back to my other one 
my other machine later and I'll show you about all that 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 good good fun stuff okay so now we have a folder we have music in here and you want to play it very simple you can just take the song that you want if you just double click it it goes to the first available track and if I go to the next one and I double click it it goes to the next track so now you have your two tracks that you can play left track right track right very simple and then you can just hit the play button and it plays so that's off the top very very easy to do here is your crossfader if you wanted to do some keyboard mixing you could take the crossfader when this is all the way to the left it's only going to play the song that's on the left when this is all the way to the right it's only going to play the song that's on the right and when it's in the middle it'll play both simultaneously for you okay so that is a a high level if you wanted to mix like that um, I told you over here there are some pretty cool features. One that you're really going to be concerned with if you were transitioning away from iTunes or from uh, Music B. Um, but again, both both of those very, very good applications. I just am familiar with and really enjoy using Virtual DJ. So I'm not knocking them. It's a possible replacement. Should you choose to go down this route, I think it offers a lot of the same bang for the buck. And like I said, free. So if I wanted to do something called auto mix, I can just select in here, do control A, it selects everything. Now I'm gonna drag them over to, first you gotta select it. I'm gonna select the auto mix section right here. I'm gonna drag my music over to here. Now I have all of my music in this auto mix session section. If you are a DJ, this auto mix is great if you are doing cocktail hour or if you are doing, um, gosh, what else is there? There's cocktail hour. There's if you got to take a take a potty break. If a, a, many many different reasons why this would be very very helpful for you, right? It, it could be very helpful. So in order to, there's some settings that you can do within Auto Mix before you start it off. So if you click on this little uh, button right here above Auto Mix, let me move this so my fat head's out of the way. There we go, right there. All right. So if we click on this button right here above Auto Mix. You're going to get these different options right here. So you can do the auto mix type, which is the first one you want to look at. There's a smart auto mix where virtual DJ picks the perfect place in the song to either cut it and transition or to do a fade into the next song. So it'll do that automatically. If you know that you want to do just a, a fade and remove the intros and outros as DJs, a lot of the times the songs that we get have intro beats and outro beats. So uh, 16 beats coming in, 16 beats going out. So you could do a 16 second intro outro fade. So it'll fade in and out out of that. Now, if you are doing like a radio show and you had some songs lined up that you wanted to automatically play back to back to back, then click remove silent, remove silent right there. All right. Uh, you say if you have time after you need info on the plugin for virtual DJ for using the info on the tags using OBS. I see it, but you've not installed it yet. So, yeah, I'll get into that one next. That's uh, called play to text play to text that's what i'm using right now so you see the the now playing up above that is coming from this awesome little application called play to text remind me if i forget about that okay so if you're doing the music one like i just said the auto mix type you're going to do fade remove silence and then change the auto mix length to two seconds what this is going to do it's going to automatically um at at with two seconds left in the first song it's going to start fading that down and then fading up the first two seconds of the second song. So that's again what I'm doing right now for this show with my stream beats. I just have it on auto mix with a fade and two seconds in, two seconds out. This section right here can give you info on the artist that you have playing, the, the songs that are up there. One thing that I like to do, and you guys might appreciate this as well, um, this right here in this um, in this section, these are custom buttons custom buttons the first custom button that i'm going to teach you how to do right now and believe me virtual dj has so much customization if you're a fan of android phones you're gonna love virtual dj because it's just like that you you can make this your own puppy there are so many different things that you can do in terms of scripting in here to execute actions on just simple key presses or button pushes so definitely I'll, I'll show you how to get into that next 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 again there's so much stuff you feel my excite excitement I just I freaking love this system all right so the one that I think is very important for everyone to have because because there isn't one here there isn't a um, oh there is there's an unload button there you go never mind I was gonna teach you how to make an unload button but it looks like they got that problem solved in the new virtual DJ well to, to, to not 
to I had your interest peaked. So all you do is right click on a custom button, and uh, this thing says you better know what you're doing. Um, we know what we're doing. So this is where you would put your codes in, your actions and stuff. So what I would do here is uh, one of the actions is, and as you start typing them, it comes up with options that you can have there. So we're going to do unload right here, and then I'm going to name the button unload, okay? And then you just close it. It saves automatically. So when I put a song up here and then I push that button, it unloads it, right? Super, super simple. Um, while we're still on the subject, I'm going to show you the VDJ scripts. VDJ scripts. So we're just going to do a Google search for that. VDJpedia. Right here is a list of all of the example scripts, and then people also made example um, examples of those scripts. So here are the scripts actions. Um, no, that's not the one. Here we go. We want the script uh, the script library. Example, where's the library? Uh, list of all the verbs, that's it. VGJpedia, and uh, this is, I'll, I'll put this, uh, we'll just do that search like I just did. You guys can walk through that very easily. All of these items, everything that's in bold are pieces of code that you can kind of put together to do stuff on virtual DJ from your computer and it, it's you can have a whole lot of fun with it believe me the the possibilities are literally endless and the forums and the Facebook groups they're great great places the people are very nice there they'll always wanted to help you out so um, you might even see me up there with uh, with my my darn Facebook name it's not DJ Lafave boo all right, so again, that is just uh, VDJpedia, VDJ scripts. You can you can really go to town on configuration of your system. Um, all right, let's open it back up here. Make it large and in charge again. There you go. So we are in Virtual DJ, and there is an important uh, item that needs to be shown to you uh, because you're going to be in this section a whole whole lot. How do I listen to the music that's coming out of my my Virtual DJ? Right. Uh, it's the audio tab. You go to this gearbox in the top right, click on it. You click on it, and there are just a crap ton of options down here. The first thing you see is tutorials. So if you don't get everything that you need in your life from me on this broadcast, which is highly likely <laughs> because there is there is there's so much to go through on this system. Um so there, there's stuff that's that's very, very basic, kind of going over the different components of virtual DJ in a much Maybe less enthusiastic matter than I. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more scripted. This is 100% off the cuff. I have no script. I never have a script. I just roll with it. You got questions, throw them in the chat. And I'm just going to share the info that I have with you. So if you've never seen Virtual DJ before, I hope that this this is fun. So give it a like. If you, if you have seen it and maybe you're seeing it in a new light, maybe uh, a new color orange. I'm going orange today, man. I'm going orange. Orange, you glad I went live streaming though? Okay. All over the place. Audio. So in this audio section is where you can select how to add and remove different audio. And it, it will it will depend on where you want the audio to come out. If you want audio inputs, you can do that too. So, uh, I've gone into some more advanced videos uh, prior to this one of how you can get like Spotify or um, Amazon Music or even your system sound like, uh, like YouTube audio can come into Virtual DJ. Um, so I'll say, if I were to play one of my videos and stream the music into Virtual DJ and press the record button, where I was able to then record my audio of stuff that I produced, you could do that. You could. It could be done. So, so run that one down. <laughs> so I use um I use a voice meter. So my master outs go into voice meter for this one. But you could select uh, your your speakers that you have in there, um, just like that. You can add the line input, you can add a microphone. So if you had a microphone connected to your computer, this is where you add a microphone and I'm gonna add my, gosh, my eyes are just terrible. Just terrible. Um, is it new tech? Maybe, it, no, that's NDI. I just installed NDI the other day. Didn't really love it, didn't love it. I know Steph, I know you like it, but <laughs> uh, we'll do uh, real tech right there and see if that works. All right, we'll hit it. And then you hit apply after all of your changes right there. It didn't like it. Error. Errors abound. Really, really just doesn't like me right now. All right, come on. There we go. 
All right, we're going to apply that again. But this is where you get your audio in here, all right? Your audio goes in this, this section. Interface is where you could select um, the skin that you use. I did a video on uh, on Virtual DJ Orange Juice, the Orange Juice skin. I'm going to show you how to download that um, in just a moment. And then you can change the look and feel of your entire system. But for the beginner overview, I think I covered most of the steps of how to create folders, add music, and how to play it through your auto mix and whatnot. But this is this is um, this is the next level of integration and configuration that you can have there. Let's do that. Let's go get a skin, man. Let's go get a skin. So under extensions, right here, this is the extensions. Hey, look, orange juice is right here. Oh, you need plus or pro for that? Okay, well, some of these you gotta you gotta cough up. If you if you want the, the nicer skins, you've gotta cough up. And this is why I wanted to do this on the free version. It's why I'm on my other computer. Because I wanted to show a one for one of what you get versus what you could get with the, the, the paid version. Um so we'll, we'll just we'll try this one right here. This is DD nah, that one's ugly. And you, you, you can you can play around with all these all you want. That one looks colorful and fun, right? It's an editor pick. Let's install it. So you click on the install button. It's installed. How do we get to it? Go to interface. And now we have this old school one. So when I click on it, you're going to see the entire background just completely change. Now our interface is like two turntables and no microphone. <laughs> it's pretty neat, right? It's pretty neat. So that is what that, that whole thing will look like. You see a lot of the different items in there. You still got your library on the bottom where you can do some fun things uh the same thing as before now you could probably you could probably raise it up raise it down but you can, you can have some fun with it i think maybe if you had a touch screen you could you know you can maybe scratch right there <laughs> but i'm gonna go back to the default up here if you want to go back that's all you do is go back to this interface section and click click pro um there's also the performance the essentials the starter that we looked at earlier those all come with this now mapping if you enjoy um, using a Stream Deck or BitFocus Companion, I have mapped uh, key uh, hotkeys to go to entire thing tied to uh, tied to your Stream Deck or Companion. All you have to do is go over to DJLafave.com, check out the virtual store. It's all free, and I did the work of creating a a video to show you how to do it. But this is where you guys can change the. I told you about all those. Um, all those scripts and all those code. That's what all this is. You're just tying a key. Like right now, Alt 4 says go to Q point number 4. You could you could make it do anything. You could load a specific song by pressing Alt G. Like it can do all of that. And it's so much customization. Very, very fun. All right, options. There is just a boundless amount of options on here. If you ever want to know how to do one thing or another, Google it. There's people before you you're you're not being that creative somebody else has already tried to do it or tried to ask and then somebody even smarter has then just helped them um i'm one of those people who i think can help you so if you're still at this point in the video and you're watching this and you're trying to do some scripting right and you're stumped just go write a message in the comment um i may have perhaps one of the fastest response times on youtube comments in history uh it's just you know it's on your phone why, why leave you hanging i'm here for you guys i'm here for all of you because you're here for me so the options right here, you can, this is the, you can go to the different sections for specific options. Um, let's just jump into the record option real quick. These are all the different options that you have with record. You can record it as an MP3 file. You can record it as an MP4 file. You can also record on here. This, this thing is really cool. A Q file. So the Q file actually puts together this thing called a Q sheet. And if you were to upload your mixes or your mixtape to Mixcloud, you take that Q file and it uploads and it'll put all of your songs timestamped as to when they came on. Very useful tool, very professional looking, and it grabs all of the mixes of the songs that you're using. So I see we got a whole bunch of people on uh, watching this right now. Please drop a line in the chat. I'd love to know who's on here, um, who, who's hanging out, who's watching. And if you do like this, then hit the like buttons and more people will like it. Um, and then uh, if you're doing video right here, you can change the resolution, the output resolution of the recorded video that you're doing. Um, okay, there's 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 just just one of the options. There's so many options in here. Um, and again, if you don't have a specific question on it now, you may have one later. Feel free to ask them. Don't mind. I'm here for you guys. Licenses is where you're going to plug in your license. If you want to pay $19 a month, you can, or there's a one-time purchase of $299. Uh, if you just want to test it out as the pro license level, you can do that. And uh, like I said, the music, $9.99 a, month to, $9.99 a month to stream from here. If you want to stream karaoke, $19.99 a month. And if you want to do video, it's $49.99 a month. It's a pretty steep for some people. I definitely know it's too steep for me. It's not, not something I do or take advantage of. 
Um, extensions, we looked in here. This is where you can find a whole bunch of, of cool stuff. So there's effects that you could add. You can add samples. You can add pre-built pads. So people have already done the customization for you. All you got to do is install them and they're good to go for you. And then there's the other uh, field. So in the other field, this is something I definitely wanted to show you. There's this database filters or database, wherever you're from. Definitely do this from the get-go. Get this extension. This is called the My Library. So we're going to install that, okay? And now it's going to add this item over here on the left called My Library right here. Now, everything that you've, you've put into your, your music library has already been filtered into these virtual folders. So if you wanted to find a specific artist, then you just go here and it has them already done filtered A through A through Z and then all artists, albums, titles by BPM. So if you wanted to do a mix of just all BPMs between a certain range, then that that is a pre-built filtered item. So right now when I click on this, you saw those vid those those songs I brought in earlier, they're already in here. They're already in here. So all of the songs that I just uploaded that are between 145 and 150 BPM beats per minute, they're already in this folder. So it's it's really, really rad. Really, really rad. I, I, I enjoy that immensely. Okay. So Steph was asking for the cool thing that is play to text. Okay. Play to text. So I think if I go to, is it under extensions? Might be under extensions. Play to text. We'll look there. We'll look at effects, samples. So sometimes it's hard to find stuff on here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to Google and on Google, I'll just type in play to text VDJ. And the first one that comes up here is play to text. So this is a forum. It's an add on. It's called play to text. So if I click on play to text right here, it's going to come up with the download. So then we're going to click download and that is going to download for me. Where are you at? Oh, you need, so you need to create an account possibly. You don't have, you don't have to be pro. Um, so we're going to just play log in with our account right there and we're going to save that sucker. Okay. So now that's saved, we're going to open it and we are going to, this is what it looks like. Okay. You watching stuff. This is what it looks like. Um, you have two options. You have basic and you have advanced. So the three things that it can pull from are artist title and remix. Those are the three things it can do. So if you click on advance, it's going to say now playing artist title. And then I can say percent remix percent. Okay. I can do that. But what I'm going to do to show you how, how, how kind of cool this is now playing by the world's greatest DJ named Lefave. I think, I think that's an accurate statement. I don't know that there's any other DJs named Lefave. And what you're going to do here now is just pick where you're going to save this file. So we'll go to the desktop and we're going to name this uh, play to text. It's a text file and we say save. Okay. And now I'm going to say start. It's started. So in order for it to start working, um, the one option that you're going to want to check off in here is history. So when you go to history, history delay, I make the history delay like like three seconds. That means that whenever it's gonna, it, it checks the history every three seconds to write into that program. All right, so three seconds is saved. And now I'm gonna start uh, playing a song right here. I'm gonna play a song right now. This is, um, what am I playing? I am playing Ventolin, Ventolin right now. So Ventolin is playing. And to show you how that file works, if I go to my desktop and I go to play to text, it is now showing now playing by the world's greatest DJ name, Lefave, number 23, Ventolin. Um, why is that important? Why is that, that, that cool? Because now in the OBS, you could pull that text file when you add a text source. And then in that text source, you just read from file and you read from that play to text file. So now you have that, uh, that file on in there. So I hope that was helpful for you. Now you know how to get cool things like that. And you could change the text inside of OBS. The, the size, the placement, and that's all I did for what you see above me right now, the now playing stream beats right there. Same thing on my booth actually too. So at the bottom of my booth, I just added a scroll to that that text feed. So which way? It's going it's going that way. It's all reversed, man. It's all reversed. Yeah, so so that's how that rolls, man. 
everything else you see going on in this this scene right here is is tied to my virtual dj running on this desktop so we have um run the mill right now on the on the free version um i can show you now what my what my virtual dj looks like um and kind of how i have it situated and and done so go to large display capture we're gonna turn ninja off this is now on my computer um the one that i stream with uh very regularly and i can also now woohoo we can zoom in again yes it was so hard i apologize to everybody that i couldn't zoom in on my obs ninja stream so again what i did here is uh, i showed you earlier all of the the virtual folders and steph let me know if that answered your question you can replay that obviously later if you need to uh this is this is all my stream beats. I put it in, into virtual folders, and then I added on here um, the album that they're a part of. And then inside each album, I updated all of the metadata by typing it in there. There's one for you. How do you update the metadata within Virtual DJ? Simple. Pick a song, right-click on it. Let me zoom in. Right-click on it, and then do Tag Editor. The Tag Editor then looks like this. You have all of this data that you can add into Tag Editor all of this data now i believe there is a way that if you say uh, i'd have to google it again but there's a way that it can pull data from the interwebs to update your metadata for you so you don't have to go through all of that mess but if you want to change anything from the album to the title to the remix you can do that all in here and write the write write the tab now if you wanted to do everything at once say all of this is one album right and the album we'll, we'll do that it's all the album lifestyle so i'm gonna I'm select it all I'm going to right click and I'm going to say tag editor. And so anything that I do in here now is going to apply the tag to all of them. So we're going to call it lifestyle is the album. And then I'm going to say, okay. So now when I zoom out and if I open up the album in here, where's the album right there, you'll see that lifestyle is now written in under all of the albums. So that's how you do bulk editing. Um, and then if you look down here, you see live feedback recommends stream beats by Harris Helder, Heller, Cloak and Dagger. So it's already recommending another song similar in style, make and model of what I'm currently doing. So pretty cool feature, pretty cool feature. Um, let's see, what else have I missed over here? There's the sampler. So the sampler, it comes with some pre-built ones in. You got the air horn. It's not mixed in though right now, so you can't hear the, hear the air horn. I just saved your ears, man. I just saved your ears. And then over here is how I um, this is how I organize for parties. So for parties and funerals, apparently, um, I'll have like uh, my hip hop Lafave show. I, I put instrumentals in here, um, episodes that I was doing, house hits that I have, my library. Again, that's that that one right there. Go tos. Um, this was for a party that I did. Um, songs that I know that that are going to be big anthems at the party. This is for a 50 year old surprise party. And then they wanted some freestyle music, and I have updated my library to the point where that is no longer a relevant folder to show you. Um, and then all my mix songs, scratch tools I've got on here, just just a whole bunch of of different ways that you can that you can uh, I guess organize your stuff. So right here you'll see this. This is a yellow one. This is a favorite folder. So I made a favorite folder of all of my music videos that I have. So if I was going to do anything with music videos, it goes essentially to there essentially to there so that's what i got for an overview i hope it was helpful if you guys have any questions so far or or anything that 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 you know struck your fancy let me know while i take this sip of incredible water ah. i do have something cool coming up something cool uh, i think it's cool i think it's cool um you guys tell me I, I, I do want your opinion on this. I want your opinion. Let me um, let me just get this thing. I, I had it turned off, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get it get it situated real quick. So give me a second. We're going to turn that on. Okay, so that is on. All right. So what you're looking at in the bottom left hand corner of the screen right now is something called Hype Boss. It's this little thing by Stream Elements. It's kind of cool. So that way, um, if you subscribe, if you send a super chat you start attacking the bosses and then you can get your name placed as the hype boss. I don't know how many of you guys uh, just raise your virtual hands if you've seen that. But that's not the cool thing I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was, and I, I could do this with a Streamlabs, um, a Streamlabs alert. Anytime that you send a super chat, 
you're going to be able to blind me. So you can blind me with a super chat. So we'll, we'll send a sample super chat right now. And, and I got to get you guys ready for this. Be ready. Here it goes. Destroy them with lasers. Oh, man, that's so much fun. If you guys like that, that is a blinding me with a super chat. So any super chat you send, and, and it's it's activated right now, you guys can blind me, and you can, can blind all the guests. Uh, you destroy me with lasers, okay? Destroy me with lasers. I think it's pretty funny. A uh, little interaction that you can have going on within the show um, going forward. So if you guys like that, feel free to, to go in the chat box, send a super chat. See if it works. I, I think it works. I got it all configured up correctly. At least I hope I do. Um, but yeah, that, that's the uh, that's what I got going on, man. That's what I got going on. I'll be back live on here on Monday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope this uh, this little ditty was helpful for you. I see you still got a whole bunch of people hanging around, and I appreciate you all. I appreciate everybody who has who has subscribed and who has uh oh steph's gonna, gonna try it you can try it bro <laughs> give it give it a try man we'll, we'll see how it works i think i think it's all set up i think it'll work so uh yeah every th that would be awesome man that would be awesome uh, but the integration is really just to make this a more interactive fun experience i know everyone on twitch has all of the fun they have they have 100 all of the fun we're, we're gonna work to have some more of the fun now too at least that's the hope that is the hope all right yeah, so that's uh that that's really what we got going on, man. That that's part of it. On Monday, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of a lot of um, what do you call it? I'm gonna be doing a lot of tutorials on Monday. Monday, there's been some questions on how to make thumbnails, how to do certain things with um, with just OBS in general. We'll do some stream beats integration. We're gonna do uh, and again anything else that you guys want. That is, uh, that is what we do. That is what we'll do. So I'm 100% I'm on board for anything that you guys need. So if you have any questions beforehand, shoot me a note, shoot me a letter, uh, comment on this video. <sighs> need to have the monitor to the scene. Need to have the monitor to the scene, is that what you meant? And and we, we, we pardon him, French is his first language. <laughs> <laughs> need to have the monitor so the 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 scene that i did yeah i just added a scene and then stream stream elements no i put it up in stream labs uh there's a way with touch portal to integrate alerts so if if for example on touch portal you're able to do an alert from someone if they send it then it, it comes up on the screen. So it's an integration between three different programs. I'm using Touch Portal, I'm using Stream Elements, and I'm using Stream Labs. So those are the, uh, the, the the three main pieces that I'm kind of tying in together, learning a bit of more, more about that. So you need, you, well, yeah, you need to, uh, the way that I have the strobe worked out is that it, it, it really is just blinding from my monitor. 100% blinding and I have some lights are able to kick up a notch so I get um, totally blinded and you blind all the guests when you do it. You want to see it one more time? <laughs> you guys can say yes or no. I'll, I'll wait. I, uh, we'll, we'll do a vote. I've got five people watching right now. If uh, if there's there's more yeses than noes in about 30 seconds, I'll, I'll let it run one more time so you guys can see the fun. And then if you ever want to see it again, it's on you. I leave it on you to send a super chat. And then, uh, and then you get the blind. You also get to become part of the hype boss down there. And overall, just just have a, a jolly old fun time while you're hanging out with the crew. While you're hanging out with the crew. So, I, again, I appreciate it. I've been getting so much, so much love on the interwebs for some of the stuff that I've been putting out there for you all. I definitely want to, on Monday, live make something that you guys can then download at the end of the show. So whatever we do live, I'm actually going to upload it during the show on Monday and it'll be downloadable. So think about some things that you want to have and uh, you get me on Monday to go do that for you. And all you got to do is watch the video, download it, watch the video again, and then you have it installed. So I'm going to take that yes from Steph as a, <laughs> it's an old yes. All right, we'll leave it off. We'll leave it off. It's all good. It's all good. All right, yeah. Well, that, that's really what I wanted to show you guys today. I wanted to have you a a walkthrough. Oh, that that's a that's a yes, yes, a yeah. Who who knows what that one's for? But I'm, I'm going to give you another blinding. Here we go. Five, four, three, two.
No? Didn't work? Didn't work? Oh, well. Oh, I know why. It has to be a different name. So if I run an old alert from the one time that... that there we go! Oh, there we go. It's bright. It's bright. It's bright. Oh, man. Whew. Whew. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> oh, God. Whoever thought that was a good idea. Man, whoever thought that was a good idea. So in Streamlabs, you can actually rerun all the alerts that come through. So I just reran the one where um, Video Fusion was kind enough to send me my first and only super chat. So thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. All right, y'all. No other questions in the chat. I'm going to go and um, finish. I'm going to start season four of Spartacus. I, uh, I've watched it 10 years ago, and now I'm back to watching it again. I'm a, I'm a glutton for that wonderful Stars Entertainment. So I appreciate everybody for hanging out. Um, let's uh, let's do this properly. you got to warp down. We're right here. We're going to go right there. I just want to keep moving. I just want to keep moving. <laughs> uh, Father Confessions, how long have you been doing this? Um, this show? <laughs> Not very long. I've been, I've been toying with YouTube for about, gosh... Maybe about a year since, since about a year. Um, my metrics will show you how terrible I was from the beginning. How long have I been DJing? About two and a half years. <laughs> two and a half years. That's it. I started late. It was a dream as a youngin to to do this as as a youngster, and um, I uh, yeah as as a, as a youngin it was a dream, and then what was it right here in um oh it's all the way over there about uh. Christmas 2018, my wife got me a little Newmark DJ to go to, and that sparked everything. I'm like, oh, this is so great. I started playing around with it, started having a good time, and then some things fell into place. We we, uh, we were able to sell one of our houses, made a, made a small profit, just enough that I was able to upgrade to a, a, a used Pioneer DDJ um, SZ. I took that SZ, and I, I ended up getting some speakers and i just just started oh my, my journey on youtube i'm telling you my dj journey my, my journey on youtube you want to see my journey on youtube i'm gonna show you my journey on youtube let me let me let me pull up the fun stuff right here so this is this is my my journey on youtube let's go here um my journey on youtube how do we get rid of that there we go right there and and I'm gonna show you guys. This is this is all, all not, nothing to hide here. I just hit uh, partner status, so I was just able. Well, YouTube partner. I just started getting revenue. Um, but if we look back, if I look back at the last, here's my lifetime. My lifetime on YouTube. This is when the pandemic hit. Right here is when the pandemic hit. And I had a couple of good tutorials on how to do Zoom on a pandemic, or how to do DJ over Zoom. This right here is where things kind of started taking off. And right around here is where I decided to make YouTube my primary uh, platform for sharing material. And then as it went along, you'll see it didn't really start kicking up till right around December of last year is when I started doing a whole lot more streaming and interactive material. And that's really where that that that's coming. Um, my revenue is strictly from from advertisements essentially. Um, it's it's uh, enough to cover some to some subscriptions, and uh, you'll see like the one couple of couple of videos i have that are you know doing well but a majority of my videos are in the the, the hundreds and the the less than hundreds but uh i just just love doing it you know i i love I, i've really been doing this my it was my new year's resolution to start streaming more consistently i wanted to stream more consistently and so i picked mondays at 8 p.m as my consistent time what you're watching right now, this is all just bonus material. I, I, I guarantee you I'll be there every Monday at 8 p.m. Anything else you get is just uh, got some extra time and got something I want to show you, and that's where this pops up. But I appreciate the question, and uh, I appreciate y your love on the tutorials. Oh, thank you. Uh, the one thing that I, I, I've always wanted to be a teacher, and uh, the way life worked out, I, I wasn't able to teach but in the kids and professionally, but now I'm doing this on YouTube, so... 
Uh, I think that that's really awesome that I'm able to help all these people. Ah, that's awesome. Well, <laughs> get going on it, man. Get going. And uh, if you have any questions or need any any advice, man, I think some of my, my live streams are going to start turning a little bit more conversational in nature like that. So th that that's the plan, at least, just to talk about how I got to where I am. You guys can learn from my mistakes, and I can learn from yours because that's what the community is all about. And, and that's why I have that join feature. Um, if you join, we're going to have a Zoom call once a month at least with all the members of the DJ LaFave channel. So I think $2.99 a month is a good deal. You support me. You get on a Zoom call. We all get to share ideas, ask problems. We can share screens and float around. So it's, it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal, I think. Um, that's all I got right now. I hope to see you on Monday. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be popping in and out um, throughout the weeks always. I've got uh, to go let my dog out. I appreciate everybody. Appreciate all your time. I hope this uh, this overview was helpful for you. Again, I'm DJ LaFave. You're watching my channel. You know what it is. See you on Monday.